Yeah, my name is Cynthia T. Palos, and welcome to the Animal Innovations Show. Today's Animal Innovation Show is brought to you by... Did you know that the Animal Rescue Professionals Association is the only association dedicated to supporting the animal rescue profession? Their certifications are unique in the industry and allow you to differentiate yourself from your peers and colleagues. Their certifications to help you demonstrate your commitment to animal rescue. Get certified today by visiting animalrescueprofessionals.org. Awesome. So Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us. So kick us off. Tell us who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. Oh, I'd love to do that. And actually, I, I want to be clear that it's not just me. I'm part of a team, and we all uh, founded Adopt Me App together. And what we've done, and we've been running now for seven years, wow. is we provide a free app. Um, we provide this app to free to animal shelters so that their um, volunteers, fosters, and staff can very easily upload uh caption photos and videos right into the pet profiles. Yeah, I mean, seven years is a long time to have a technology that's still going strong. Yeah, and I will have to say, I mean, you know, these are engineers that I've worked with in the past. Uh, We all came together to work on this because we all love animals. Uh, And our system has never failed. Our server uh, hosted place, the, uh, you know, once in a while, the tech, their technology has failed, but we were able to fully recover with no data loss. And I, you know, this is, it's really incredible. And I think that's one of the reasons we've been successful. You, you came up with the idea of this. What was going on? What made you say, hey, I need to develop something that can solve this? Well, I didn't really know anything about animal shelters. I mean, I was in tech like you. I mean, I loved animals, you know, pets. I had noticed that at my local shelter that they weren't posting photos of the pets. And then, unfortunately, these pets would disappear right away you know, with no photo, no nothing. And I was very concerned about that and rightly so. So I felt like I wanted to raise this issue to the city management. And then coincidentally, the city CIO put together a um, app challenge, right? (laughs) And um, I thought, oh, I know, I'm going to raise this issue by proposing solutions to what I felt was the problem, which is the animals weren't getting any publicity online. And in the end, though, we st- we actually, we were the only team that actually developed anything. I mean, as you know, it's really hard to get good photos and videos, and yet everybody's walking around with a video camera slash, you know, camera in their pocket with a smartphone these days. So you basically took the two and said, I'm going to make it really easy for them to get these photos up there. So, and, you know, it kind of gets back to the whole crowdfunding thing, which is, you know, our you know, where you have all these people out there. I mean, it's, it's very obvious now. Remember, this was seven, eight years ago uh, that, you know, you have all these people that have all these photos and videos and why aren't they out there? And, you know, people can post them on their own Facebook accounts or Instagram, but that's not really where most people are going to look when they're thinking about adopting a shelter pet. They go to the shelter website. Yeah, why don't you tell people, I mean, walk them through. For somebody that's never seen this before, how does it work? I mean, is it volunteers? Is it staff? Is it both that are helping using your app to get pictures? You know, it's it's really both. And it, a lot of it depends on the shelter. I, it's, it's like every shelter is different. You would think there were, you know, some are more similar than others. But in some shelters, um, the staff is a very heavy user of it because they prefer to use Adopt Me app, especially with videos, it's just so much easier. Um, and other shelters, it's, you know, pretty much all volunteers and fosters. And in, in most shelters, though, it's, it's a mix. It's really a mix, uh, actually, on the the uh, technology partners website. It varies, though. I mean, some of these shelters actually, believe it or not, they've, they've built their own front-end system. And actually, there's quite a few of those that have done that. Yeah, and some of them are, are, are quite sophisticated and nice. I mean, I'll just give you a couple of examples. San Diego Humane Society, uh, Ventura County Animal Services. They both have, they built um, their own display for potential adopters. You know, where you find the adoptables, they built it themselves. Very cool. So now how how has it grown in the last seven years? So you started out with a couple of them, like you said, really worked hard, but I'm guessing it's grown and you probably support many more organizations now. <laughs> Well, we have, right now we have uh, about 35 partner organizations, partner shelters, but it was hard at the beginning because it, it's 
things kind of, uh, you know, when you, you look back and you think, well, why was that an issue? But at the beginning, there was a lot of shelters that were very hesitant because they said, well, you know, what, what will they post? I mean, we see let our volunteers post things. Right. I mean, they might, well, their concern was they would say bad stuff about the shelters. Um, just, I, I still see something new every day, some new clever way of, you know, showing off a kitty's personality. I mean, that's got to feel pretty good. 175,000 posts in seven years. We actually have right now, um, the content is seen 22,000 times a day. And we, we, we know that we're helping pets get adopted. Well, first of all, there's been studies that show that videos and photos are incredibly compelling in getting people to come into the shelter. Uh, so maybe they end up adopting a different pet, but it doesn't matter. They, they came to the shelter. And that's all we are. Is, you know, it's, we're creating, giving the opportunity for the people that know the pet the best, which is typically the volunteers and the fosters. They don't have to worry about, is this, is this one tell everything about this pet, right? And you see all these different videos and photos and you see one of that, you know, it's really, it makes, it brings out something special about that cat. So Cynthia, why don't you tell people again, the website, if they're interested, if they want to see if, if their local shelter is using it, where can they go? So if you go to our website, you'll just see you know, what is Adopt Me app and you'll see the live stream. But in order to use the app, your shelter has to partner with us. Well, Cynthia, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for sharing what you guys are doing. And, you know, as I wrap up our show, I just love to remind our viewers and listeners that it starts with an idea. And Cynthia had an idea with her team for something that would bring value and help get animals adopted. So maybe you're watching or listening and you've got an idea for something that helps animals or the people that love them. We'd love to know about it. Just go to innovations.show and we'd love to have you on the show. And please, if you can, we'd love to have more Dubertiers. You can join us at Dubert.com where you can join the tens of thousands of volunteer transporters and fosters, even people that are buying pet food. Uh, it pays it forward to the animal rescue or shelter of your choice. So check it out at Dubert.com. And thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for coming on. I really enjoyed the conversation and I'm really excited for what you guys are doing. Well, thank you having a, for having Adopt Me Up on the show. We appreciate it.